Tough day again. You know, we've had a tough weekend. Um, you know, we've been in every single ball game, but um, got to give North Carolina credit. They found a way to get it done. Um, you know, the one thing that stands out about North Carolina is uh, when we made uh, mistakes, when we made errors, uh, they made us pay for it. That's what great teams do. And, um, you know, bottom line is we got to swing the bats better. Uh, today, hit the two-run homer early. And then we just getting, uh, didn't give Pat much uh, to work with. He pitched his, uh, pitched his butt off for us. And, uh, you know, you get a runner at third uh, with one out twice, and we don't get that run in. You know, that's, uh, that's potentially four runs right there. And uh, every, um, you know, I guess they gave the, a hit on the last play there. But, uh, you know, the other two errors we made, they scored runs on. So, uh, you know, the bottom line is, is um, you know, you have to play almost perfect baseball um, uh, when you're facing a team that's got good pitching and, and, and you don't do as good of a job as you'd like to do in situational hitting. That's the bottom line. You know, it's, it's hard to be perfect uh, when you're facing, uh, you know, a team like this. They're not going to beat themselves. And uh, they pitched really well. They played great defensively. We were going to have to swing the bats today uh, if we were going to be able to win this game. And, uh, you know, our guys competed as hard as they could. But at the end of the day, when we made errors, they made us pay. And, uh, you know, a bullpen, a bright spot, and those guys threw the ball well. I mean, they executed pitches and they did their job, I thought. Uh, you know, the bottom line is the last play. You know, you, we gotta, you know, you hope you can make that play, but we didn't. Uh, but, uh, you know, the bottom line is we just got to keep fighting and uh, we got to get back to the drawing board, take a couple of days off for exams and got to find a way to get better. Coach, obviously you never want to see errors and struggles in the pen, but I'm guessing you'd much rather they present themselves now before you have a couple of weeks for postseason. Yeah, and, you know, again, I mean, you just look at, you know, where were the, you know, where were the areas that we needed to be better today in today's game? I thought we pitched pretty good. You know, the bottom line is we got to swing the bats. And when we get runners in scoring position, we got to find a way to get those runners in. And that's the bottom line. You know, uh, when you're facing a good team that can pitch and defend, when they present you an opportunity for a sack fly or to get a run in, you got to get the run in. And that's the bottom line. And that's my fault. We got to do a better job of coaching our players and we got to start trying to manufacture a little bit more. We got to start safety squeezing. Uh, whatever we got to do, we got to find a way to get those runs in. Uh, because at the end of the day, you look back at this game, you lose three to two, and you know we're in a much better position if we get both those runs in, or at least one of them in. Uh, you know, it's hard to fault our guys on physical mistakes, on, on errors, physical errors. Very difficult, uh, you know, to, to find fault in that. But you know, I thought Beasley threw the ball well out of the pen. Jackson came in. Uh, we wanted to try to get in a double play right there with Roberts. That's why we walked, uh, put the other runner on, try to set up the double play because that run at that point did not matter. And then uh, brought Schnell in the face of Lefty, and Schnell made a good pitch. I mean, he got weak contact. And, you know, uh, the one thing that is uh, that you can tell about North Carolina is their athleticism uh, will expose you if you can't get to the baseball. And uh, that's what they did. So they were the better team. Uh, we competed a good portion of every single ball game, but at the end of the day, we got to play clean baseball, pitching and defense, and we've got to situationally hit better if we're going to be a team that can compete from here on out at a high level. That's the bottom line. Coach, you talk a lot about winning the last nine out. Mm -hmm. Lately, you guys haven't done that. What do right. you do to turn that around? Well, you know, I mean, I think the big thing is, is we've got to we've got to get back to just believing that that we're going to get it done. You know, when you do it time and time again, and we have done it time and time again, uh, and it doesn't work out for you, you know, your guys start, you know, to struggle with it a little bit. They're human. Uh, they're used to coming out on top in tight games, and when it doesn't happen for you, you know, you can get a little shell shocked by it. It can frustrate you a little bit. And the bottom line is, is we just got to learn from it and move on and just get back to believing that in tight ball games we're going to find a way to get it done. But we got to pitch and defend, and we got to situationally hit. Well, from a fundamental standpoint, if we do those three things, we pitch uh, with our starting pitching, which has been outstanding. Uh, it looks like Beasley's starting to emerge for us out of the bench. Nell's done a good job for us out of the pen. 
uh, those guys continue to step up for us and we can catch and throw the baseball and we got a situation we hit. You know, that's the area of the game that we got to improve on and that's me. Um, I got to do a better job of coaching our guys and making sure they understand what their approach is in those situations and that they're confident doing it. You mentioned bringing in Tyler Jackson, the regular mid-league starter. Um, with no mid-league game this week, did you uh, consider bringing him in earlier this weekend? Uh, well, it's, it's difficult because he threw 100 pitches in his start. So, you know, we're very cautious about bringing guys in on short rest when they when they throw 100 pitches. So, you know, that was a big factor first and foremost about whether we could use him yesterday or today. But, you know, we felt like in that situation right there uh, that that was the right time to bring him in because Roberts being a catcher, more of a double play type guy, Jackson is the best right-hander we've got when it comes to getting ground balls. So we wanted to try to set up the double play right there. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, you know, we don't have a midweek game this week. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll have the opportunity to use him possibly multiple times out of the bullpen next weekend uh, against Nevada. And uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if that's something that we can use uh, from here on out. Good time for a week off with get the rest in the pen. Yeah, I mean, we need some rest. I mean, we I think we need some physical rest, and uh, we need some mental rest and emotional rest. Our guys are frustrated. You know, look, our guys compete as hard as they can. You know, this team believes in each other. They believe in themselves. They hold each other accountable. You know, they fought as hard as they could. The bottom line is North Carolina played better than us. They were the better team this weekend. And, uh, you know, if we want to play at the elite level, you know, that's the kind of baseball we got to play. You know, they don't beat themselves. And, um, you know, and a lot of that just comes from um, frustration and, uh, you know, just trying to do too much. We just got to get back to relaxed, confident baseball and doing the things that we have done time and time again. And uh, that's on me as a coach. You know, I got to find a way to get our guys in a better place. Uh, getting back home is going to be good for us. You know, we're a good team at home. And hopefully we can learn from this and move on. But we got to play good baseball. You know, down the stretch here, uh, we've only got, I think, 11 games left. And we got some dang good teams we're going to play. And we want to finish strong going into the postseason. So we got to start looking for answers. We got to find some answers. And it starts with me, it starts with our coaching staff, and uh, the leadership on our team. But um, I can promise you this we're going to fight as hard as we can. We're going to do everything we can as a coaching staff. Uh, to learn from our mistakes and try to put our guys in a position to be successful. Uh, so, uh, you know, and we're going to start working on that um, as soon as I get on this bus uh, and as soon as we get back to Clemson, we're gonna, I'm going to find a way, I'm going to fight as hard as I can to find a way uh, to put our guys in a position to be successful. Thank you.